Eddie, you talk about fine margins a lot in football matches. That was a good example for me. Yeah, it was. That second half was... Um, the ball just wouldn't go in for us, would it? Um, it was one of those one of those nights for us where I think Callum's had the first chance of that second half and that, I thought that was a good one. And then, yeah, we hit the bar twice and a lot of late pressure, but we just couldn't force the ball home. Even with the, the injuries that you had, the, the crossbar, the shots across the crossbar, it felt like nothing was really, really going through. Yeah, I think we uh, felt a little bit disappointed with the first half. I thought we were a little bit loose technically, very quick pitch tonight. Um, we were almost, it was almost too quick for us. We we were rushed in our decision making. Um, that brought them into the game on transitions. Second half was much better. I thought we played with more control, um, and we we yeah we did have the chances. Uh, we were probably weren't at our absolute best, and I think in this competition it's a lesson for us because to win games I think we have to be. Yeah, no, no, there's no, we have to play the conditions, of course. I just, it was a really quick night. The, 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 the wet surface made it really, really quick. And yeah, I don't think our touch was perfect tonight. And that, uh, that cost us. And how are Isak and Yeah, it's very difficult to tell very early days. Alex looks like a reoccurrence of his groin that he had on international duty. Um, Jacobs looks like potentially a dislocation of his shoulder. So probably on the eye, more, more worried about Jacob, but let's see. Okay, Damien Spellman and then Luke Edwards. Eddie, how important was it to get Sandra on to, to that friend of Bertel Parvin and, and are you aware of the latest developments in this, this situation? Yeah, I've got no update for you, I'm afraid. Um, I've been concentrating on the game. But I thought he did well when he came on tonight, Sandra. I thought he played with real quality and energy. So I was really delighted with his performance. Luke Edwards. Hi, you were linked with Mecha in the summer. How close was that? He's a player that we um, we looked at and we, we really liked, but uh, yeah, he's obviously at Dortmund now. You got Sandro Tonali instead. No, it's never it's never as simple as that. Look. Um, well, how do you how do you see the group now after still going to be very close to see it going down? Yeah, down. potentially. I mean, I, it, it was always going to be tight. I think. It, top quality teams in the group. Um, that tonight's a blow for us, especially at home. But we have to take it. You know, we now have uh, two really tough away games. Um, it's important we try and get something from those games. Um, but it, yeah, top quality teams. A lesson for us tonight, I think, on how uh, fine the margins are going to be. George Colkin and then uh, Scott Wilson. Hi, Eddie. Hi, George. Yeah, so, so what is your sort of overriding emotion after that? Of course, disappointment because we haven't won. And we've lost the game. Even a, you know one of those late chances goes in. I think it's a totally different view on the the game and the result. But it wasn't to be, so we have to take it and, as I say, review the game. We have Dortmund again very quickly. Turn our attention is now to Wolves, but um, nothing's lost in the group. We're still in there. We're still fighting, um, but we've got some some tough games ahead. Yeah, it looks like he's got a, a back problem. So. Um, yeah, probably going to be missing a, a few weeks. Okay, can we just get the microphone across to Scott before we continue? Thank you. Um, just, I guess, on the back of that, Eddie. I mean, how much of a worry is it that we're we're almost at the situation, kind of injury-wise and players out-wise, that we were at just before the international break, and, and obviously that gave a chance and a few things cleared up, but. <laughs> You know, it's certainly at the top end of the pitch, it's already looking really stretched now. Yeah, it is, and it's uh, it's a strange one because you look at some of the injuries. Murphy's shoulder tonight. I mean, that's and Elliot's. You know, Elliot's injury. They're they're, they're quite um, difficult injuries to to sort of get your head round. Um, but they happened, and we have to adjust. That's all you can do. You can't sit here and. Um, analyze it too much at this moment it's a case of right um, get on with it regroup the players together massive game at Wolves ahead uh, we're still in a very good position in the Champions League we're still in a very good position in the Premier League we've made a, a positive start um, and every player in the squad is vitally important and we need to pull together in this moment Dominic just behind you Scott Welcome return for Joe Willock tonight was it always your plan to, to bring him on at some point or did the injuries force it yeah, the injuries forced it. Of course, we were left with one change after Alex's early withdrawal. So 
we made a triple sub to use all our subs and try and just manage the game load for some of the players. Joe Linton's just back from injury, so I tried to manage him. And um, yeah, that, that's why we made the triple change. Okay, Lee Ryder just behind you, Dominic. Eddie, just on Jacob Murphy, how, how gutted are you for him? Because it was only on Saturday we were talking to him. He was full of enthusiasm, as, as he always is. How, how gutted are you that he's uh, suffered this setback? Yeah, absolutely devastated for him. Look, let's wait and see how bad it is. But um, yeah, he's been such a big player for us, playing in different positions. And um, yeah, great, great personality as well. So we certainly miss him if he's out. And just how much solace can you take from the battling spirit at the end? I know we didn't get the point, but hitting the bar twice and giving them a real scare later on. Yeah, credit to the players because we never gave up. We, we kept doing the right things. Um, we did create chances again, which has been the hallmark of us so far this season. We look like a goal threat. But as I said, it was just one of those nights it just wouldn't go in for us. Uh, Martin Hardy, just with the microphone, please, Martin. Thank you. Hi, hi Eddie. How, how hard are the lessons um, for you all to learn in the Champions League? Yes, the elite, isn't it? I mean, it's the highest level. So any small mistake you make is liable to get punished. We made one just on half time and it was we were very close for, to breaking away ourselves and potentially having a really good chance to score. And seconds later, we've conceded. And I think that's a great example of the quality of the Premier, um, Champions League. So.